Good morning. It's time to go fishing. Oh, slept in my truck. It's okay, sleep. Nothing crazy. Nothing too good. Nothing bad. But yeah, it's dark. It's horrible lighting. 7.22, so I'm a little behind. It's still dark though outside, so that's good. But we're going to get up. I'm going to get fishing. I thought I'd do my intro right here. Set outside. Save the save the batteries, you know. So I'll see you, ladies and gentlemen, on the ice. And yes, I'm still going to be careful, even though I was on the ice yesterday. And I know where I'm going is relatively good. It can change overnight. You still have to be careful. Let's go fishing. Made it out fishing. I'm on three inches of ice. Doesn't look like much, but it's actually three inches. I got a whole actual hole drilled here. It's three, actually three and a half inches. So we're on lots of ice. I'm at 15 feet, so really going much further isn't gonna help me a lot. I can't really get to the next stage because there's open water. So we're gonna fish here. I'm so jacked. Fishing. Just had a couple marks come through too. You guys, if you wanna really like, <laughs> uh, what's the word I'm looking for? expand not expand um if you want to like take the most advantage of your fishing don't don't film because uh it just takes up all your fishing time i'd be fishing already if i wasn't filming probably would have caught a 20 pounder you know 20 pound walleyes yeah okay gotta get set up we're fishing okay we're fishing not bad not bad 821 sun's just should be rising we did okay we did okay we got velcro going on here to fix Starting with the rattle bait first. We'll see, last video I did, I used a bunch of different baits, so we'll see what today brings. I have to switch up once in a while. I never I never tried the hyperglide last time. That's usually a hot bait for me, first ice, so I'll probably tie that on a bit today. Yeah, and last video too, they were biting so, so finicky, like so finicky. Everything was just hardly hooked on the top of the mouth, so we'll see, hopefully. Hopefully today is the day I want to put some monsters on the ice. I've got an itching for a big ice walleye. There we go. There we go. That didn't take long at all. 8.25, so a couple minutes, and I hooked up my first fish of the day. Looks like we got a walleye. Yuppers, nice one too, nice one. Okay, shh, shh, shh. If it gets off, it gets off don't want to get my hands too wet too early in the day and you got to watch that hook when it swings too well there we go first one of the morning right there nice walter now i am fishing outside so i'll be rushing fish back in today for sure i got a measuring board here right beside me that i'm gonna grab too if i ever need but that's probably about a 20 inch or so good start to the morning rattle bait Nothing beats ice fishing when you don't have to use bait. Like if you can use artificials, it's just so much easier, especially fishing outside. Like right now my minnows are frozen. It just sucks to have to deal with that. You can get back in the water so much quicker. In the shack, it's not as bad. You can keep those minnows thawed out, but yeah, good start. Wishing we were fishing. I have another mark on me. Don't get too aggressive like right away when you first get a mark come in. You can always change up after, but the same thing. Don't change what you're doing what brought that fish in. Okay, let's try spoon action. Spoon, spoon, spoon. Spoon tipped with the eyeball from catch the other day. There we go, fish ate it right off the bottom. That spoon, you pump it up, let it fall to the bottom, and let it sit there for a second. And a lot of times those walleyes will come by and eat it right off, off the bottom. Flutter spoons, what do we got here? Some feel. Huh. It's got a little bit of pull to him for sure. Oh. This fish is dogging me. Come on, my turn. I could turn my drag up a little bit. I had it loose from last time, from yesterday. Nice fish. 
Nice fish. Nice fish. Average size start to the day is really good. Come on. Oh, you can see it fight under the ice. Come on. There we go. Oh, we got a bit, a bit of a different mood today with those walleyes. You know, last video, every fish took it in hardly. Look at that one. Spoon munched. Gone. A little bit of a different mood. That is a good sign for the day, hopefully. And grab my pliers real quick here. Okay, just grab my pliers real quick. Fish is healthy. I got more marks down there. I gotta get down there. Now, nice fish. My hands are cold. Cold, cold, cold. 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 Oh, that fish came and ate it right out of the sand. Popped it up, let it flutter down, and when I went to lift, there was weight, so I just followed through with the hook set. And it was like a nice, like, 22, 23 inch or so. Good fish, good start. Good start to the day. Oh, geez, I was pounding on the sand in the sand, same thing. Went to lift it and there's a little bit of weight. I got crushed. <laughs> okay. This morning is turning worth it to get out of bed. Nice fish. Nice fish. Baby, yeah. I'm using the same rod as last video that True Grip made by Frostbite and uh, I'm I'm very happy with it. It takes it takes me a lot to get uh, super ecstatic about a rod, but I really love the action in this. Mr. Aaron Weeb, you did a good job of designing uh, this uh, rod. Hats off to you. So yeah, if anybody doesn't know the Frostbite rods, rumor is they're designed by Aaron himself. Fish three, right there. Voila. Mark and fish, we'll go back to the rattle bait here a little bit. Oh, dropped on the rattle bait. An instant. Instant. Ooh, nice fish. That fish came up a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker. Nice fish though. Nice fish. Nice fish. I love watching these fish swim around underneath the ice. Like, you can't beat early ice. You can't beat it. It's the funnest time of the year. Nice fish. Nice fish. Be really careful though. Don't, don't, don't horse them when they get to the hole. Wait till the head comes up and then give them that final little pull right at the end. Look at them swim in circles around the bottom of the ice. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Choke that rattle bait gone choked it what a difference a bite compared to yesterday look at that one right there and look at that rattle bait completely inhaled 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 gone gone quick though quick and like i said get these fish back in fast don't mess around with them when you're fishing outside i watched some disgusting things on youtube the last night eyes frozen disgusting get those fish back in the water please four fish and uh no time glad i woke up glad i woke up sorry to rant about the the whole fish but just get them back in you guys like get those fish back in there's no reason to keep them out and freeze their eyes and their fins when you're in a shack you can keep them out a little bit longer take some nice photos but you're not going to see me mess around with these fish today very long at all i'll get a measurement if it's really big, I might get a weight, but keeping it in the water, pulling it out. So probably just a measurement today. When I'm in my shack, I'll, I'll mess around with it a little bit more, but ugh. There we go, there we go, there we go. That one took a little bit of coaxing, had to get him on the bottom, brought him up. It's like a nice, another nice fish though. Jeez, I can't beat early ice. Got time to get my gloves off. 
What are you doing down here, girl? What are you doing? Oh, I love watching them fight. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see much of that stuff. That's so cool. Okay, right there. Right there. Okay, nice fish. Nice fish. Okay, girl. Let's get that bait out quick. There we go. Another nice specimen. Walleyes. Nice, probably 20, 21 incher. Oof. You know what, it's only minus five out right now, but that wind adds a little bit of a nip in the air. <clears throat> Especially when your hands are wet. Wet. Get those hands dry before you get them back in your gloves. Or else you'll have wet, cold hands all day. I think my drag's a little loose on that one. Definitely. Need to tighten my drag up. I shouldn't have ripped that much when I set the hook. That was user error right there. But feels decent though. I just pound that rattle bait right on the spot. Uh yeah. I got a big fish on. It's big. Is it a walleye? It can't be a walleye. It's big. I got a big, big walleye. Like giant walleye. That looks really, really big. Like really big. Like really long. Oh, heart is pumping right now. That looks big. I can see it right underneath the ice right there. I'm sure it's a walleye. It's a big walleye. It's a big walleye. It's big, it's big. Oh, oh baby, oh baby. Now I see why my drag slips so much when I set the hook. It's just all, it's giant. It's giant. Come on. It's big. Oh, I almost thought about tail grabbing it right there. It's big. Oh, it's choked. It's big. Come on. Look at him. Look at him. Yes. No, no. Oh, I thought I had him. I thought I had him. It's big, it's big. That rattle bait is gone. Yeah, baby, bam! Monster, does that feel good? That rattle bait is just choked. Like I said though earlier, get them back in fast, you're outside. Pull that rattle bait out with the measuring board right here. Quick measure. Make sure if you have a metal wedding, metal, measuring board you wet it so their skin doesn't stick that is a monster giant fish yeah baby 29 29 inches baby awesome beautiful fish and look at that hardly out of the water at all back down take care of those fish please if you're gonna fish outside like this you gotta take care of them okay i won't talk about that anymore i stress that enough in this video bam yes that fish choked that rattle bait right there. That's ta a tantrum made by frostbite. And when I set the hook, I was like, wow, my drag's really loose, but obviously there was a reason for it. It came up so quick and when it got here, I was like, is that a walleye? Because <laughs> it's long, right on. And when the fish are in the water, especially under the ice, the magnification grows a little bit. Like I thought it was like really big. Don't get me wrong, 29 inches is a big walleye, but I thought it was like, like like 33 silly clayton don't 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 go away yet guys one quick thing if you're enjoying this video please smash that like button let's blow this channel up you guys pay attention right now to the depth finder because exactly nine minutes later this happens oh i literally was just pounding the bottom <clears throat> and i got another nice fish another nice fish Another nice fish, just pounding the bottom. Went to lift it and there was weight. Man, this 
the shallow water they just come up so quick like instantly they're at the ice honestly like i'm gonna sound like a salesman but the rod keeps its load the whole time which is which is something you have i have always had troubles with sometimes with wally rods with them being too stiff you get you have a, a super fast action and basically what happens is the rod loads way too early but this it's got a, a pretty good action <laughs> i'm very happy with this rod like this is probably my favorite wally rod i've ever used this is another monster like back to back tanks baby this is big i think this is bigger than the last fish oh <laughs> unreal back to back tanks are you kidding me are you kidding me like within probably 10 minutes apart not even oh it's big again it's big it's big it's big it's big come on easy easy right here right here right here i think it's bigger than the last fish it's definitely bigger than the last fish oh baby oh baby come here come here got him i got him i got him yes another absolute monster this fish is everything as big as the last fish maybe a bit bigger unbelievable unbelievable again rattlebait just choked like choked <laughs> gonzo unbelievable i'm not even going to measure this one you guys because i know it's probably about i'd say around the same size maybe a half an inch bigger type of thing so somewhere between 29 and 30 inches it is big oh unbelievable i am having a dream day right now like this early in the day and two monsters yes Oh, right there. <laughs> no bait. Rattle bait, baby. <laughs> and that fish ate it right off the bottom. Beautiful. I sound like a complete salesman when I'm talking about those rods. But I'm very, very happy with them. I got water everywhere. Stuff's wet. I'm going to need a midday dry out probably. Unbelievable. Back to back tanks. Back to back monsters. What do we have here? Cisco. There's a lot of the marks that I'm getting are Cisco's. Like I talked about in my last video, that's what's bringing these walleyes in here right now to the shallow bay is that fish right there, bait. As you can see, the, the bait that I'm using, obviously, yes, it's a lot smaller, but it's got kind of the same kind of color tinge to it. So that's what we're doing with this bait right here. Matching the hatch. Triple header. What do we got here? What do we got here? I said triple header because it's got two buddies over there that just hooked up at the, like literally at the same time. And it's been really slow, like everywhere. And all of a sudden it's like bang, bang, bang. Pretty crazy how they just kind of move in like that. Marking lots, nice walleye. Not a, not a monster, but it's definitely a nice walleye. Ooh, I went to a jig and a minnow for a little bit because I wasn't getting any action. And there we go. Ooh, hooked on the camera. That's no good, right? Top lip. Mm, come on, baby. There we go. Top lip. There we go. Nice fish right there a little bit slower in the last little bit but average size has been unbelievable so good oh what is going on what is going on that fish hammered me right oh, it must be a pike must be a pike must be a pike must be a pike pretty sure i got a pike i don't want to lose this rattle bait I don't want to lose this rattle bait. It's got to be a pike. It's way too darty. That was crazy. It just ate it right off the bottom. Where is it? Yeah, slew shark. Don't you dare lose my rattle bait, bud. Always hooked just in the, just in the upper lip. When it comes to the hole, I'm gonna pop them off right there. Come on, don't you wrap up and lose my bait. I only got one of these. 
I only got one of these. They're right there. There he is. Okay, there you go. Take off. Just as easy as that. Oh, I'd have been so sad if I'd have lost that bait. Oh, stay on my line, please. Don't forget, after a pike, even if it's up in the corner of your mouth, give a good check. You know what? I got a couple abrasions there. I'm going to do a retie. There we go. There we go. There we go. Bucket down. Bucket down. Bucket down. Bucket down. I think I got another little eater here. Perfecto. Dad will be happy that he's going to get some blackened walleyes. This walleye is the perfect eater. Don't kill those. Don't kill those 21s, 22s, even 20s. Try to go for your like 16, 17 inch or something like that. This is a perfect, perfect eater. Mmm. Is there a better eating fish than a walleye? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's gonna wrap up this uh, video. Caught a couple beautiful fish this morning. And then uh, a couple nice uh, fish to take home and eat as well. I think I ended up with like 10, 11 walleye, something like that. Got a little bit of a drive to go to get back home and get these videos edited. I will be back on the ice for walleye again shortly. So thank you guys for watching and uh, don't forget, get outside.